Let us take a look at how to find the sum of a series which starts with 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 5 all the way till 1 upon n. So if you look the numerator is always constant it is 1. The denominator is starting from 1 and every time the denominator increases by 1. For a detailed discussion of the logic of this program, please take a look at the description of this video. You will have an algorithm explaining this particular process. So I have declared i as 1. i simply stands for the denominator. So initially it is 1, then it becomes 2 and so on. The reason I have taken sum as a real or a floating point number is because 1 upon 2 is going to be 0.5, 1 upon 3 is going to be 0.33 and so on. So in order to store the result, I need to declare sum as floating point number. Then I have declared a variable n which basically is this particular term. So I am first going to ask the user enter the value of the last term of the series and I am going to read that into n. Then once I read that what I need to do is I need to start from i is assigned the value 1 and as long as the value of i is less than or equal to n I am going to increase the value of i just by 1 sorry and then I am going to add it to sum. So I am going to say sum is sum plus here you should not write 1 upon i you should write 1.0 upon i. The reason being i is an integer and 1 is also an integer. If you do 1 upon i the division of integer upon integer is going to be an integer. Suppose you try to divide 1 upon 3 you are going to get the result as 0 if you fail to put 1.0. So when I am running it I will try to play around and show you what happens if you make this as 1. So this should really take care of to find the sum of this particular series based on the value of n. So I start with 1 let's say i is just 3. Alright, so what is going to happen initially it's going to be 0 plus 1 which is sum is going to be 1 then i becomes 2 1 upon 2 is 0.5 1 plus 0.5 is 1.5 i becomes 3 3 is still less than or equal to 3 alright so sum is now sum which is 1.5 plus 1 upon 3 which is 0 0.33 so it becomes something like 1. Uh, 833 something like that and finally it will print the sum of the series as 1.833. So let's run this particular program. It's a very simple program but the key idea is the numerator should be a floating point number otherwise you will end up getting a incorrect value of the sum. This you will be sure only when I run it. Okay so let's enter the value of the last term. Let's enter the value of the last term as 5. So when I enter the value of the last term as 5 you can notice it here the value of 5 being entered results in sum of the series being 2.28. Now what I'll do is I'll forget to put this 1.0. I'll just put it as a normal integer. If I put it as a normal integer 1 upon 2 is going to be 0, 1 upon 3 is going to be 0. So what is going to happen is the answer sum of this particular series is always going to result in an answer of 1. So let's try to run this particular series enter the value of term let's enter term as 7 you'll still find the sum of the series answer as 1 now the reason you got 1 I hope it's clear because at this particular point here this became an integer division if you make it 1.0 it is going to result in a floating point division and then you're going to get the correct result so let's make this 1.0 and run it now now you see when I enter 7 and now if you take to take a look at the value you have got the correct value of the series. So it's very important to see that when you're doing a division and you want a floating point result at least one of the data type must be converted into a float or a real number. Then the other number also automatically gets promoted and gets the calculation done for you.